we are brighter than the sun. Together we are the calm inside the storm. And we are nothing without each other. Who is that? It's Max, isn't it? That's not Max. Max isn't as hot as that. He's acting like Max, like he owns the place. Let's go see who it is. Hi. Who are you? I'm Andrew Regnery. Drew to my friends, which includes all of you, I'm sure. I'm Max's cousin. Max decided at the very last minute to start a term earlier at the French Writing College, so here I am. I'll be looking after things till Max gets back. Do you ride horses? I learned to ride right here, years ago. I'm not brilliant, but I get by. So, who will be taking the lessons? As you know, Red has just completed his instructor training, so he'll be managing that department. So, things will just carry on as normal? Unless I can see something that could be improved. I've just finished a degree in business management, so I'll change what needs to be changed from a business point of view. In fact, that's one of the reasons why Max asked me here. Hello world, this is me. Life should be fun for everyone. Life is easy if you wear a smile. Just be yourself, don't ever change your style. You are you, I and me will be free. Hello world, this is me. Life should be. Darcy here? Red, I need to talk to you about Belle. I forget which bit I'm supposed to use on Penny, because I'm supposed to ride a I can't find my bridle and I can't tack up. Can you tell everyone to look for it? Melanie, can you wait a second? I was Why talking to... Why do ponies wear different bits? Because each pony is different. How? Red. Stevie, can you give me a hand with these students? They need help tacking up. I've got to call Scooter. OK, listen up. Anyone who needs a hand tacking up can ask Stevie. Okay, you've got the wrong bit. You need to go the right one. Stevie, do you know what mine is? Help me first. Please. There you are. I'll have you know, this place is becoming an absolute shambles. I'm going to have to look seriously to find another place to ride. I can't exist in these conditions. Not now, Veronica. This can't wait, Red. Okay, what is it? Garnet's stall hasn't been cleaned yet, and by the looks of the chaos around here, my lesson has no chance of being on schedule. You do remember my private lesson, don't you? Oh, yeah. <sighs> that can't be right. Ah, uh, it is. And it's the only thing around here that is on time. You're gonna have to muck out your own store today. You appear to be losing your grip on reality, Red. <laughs> don't you reckon Pine Hollow is the best stables in the world? You can't say it's the best in the world. How do we know? Because I can't think of any way it could be better. So that just means it's perfect. Perfect? That's not so bad. It's okay by me. <laughs> Suits me fine too. No, you and I both know that this is worth more than that. You're exploiting us because you know that we've got our backs against the wall. Do me a favor and crawl back under your stone. What was all that about? Doesn't sound good. 
Doesn't sound perfect. So everyone in class has to run a business for a week and make a profit. Lemonade stand. Way boring. Think original. Think outside the square. Think entertainment. OK. Dime does tricks. We could put on a concert. Dime bites. We could get sued. No. Listen, Ashley, I can sing. Says who? Says my mum. Besides, it's in our jeans. I took dancing lessons when I was little. <laughs> Move over Saddle Club. Here come... The Ponytails! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're such a good boy. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. As you can see, we're in desperate need of foster homes. We can barely accommodate the number of rescues we have in already. And every day we get calls for more. It's hard to believe that anyone could be so cruel to such beautiful animals. Cruelty comes in many different forms. Abuse, starvation, lack of care. Some of these animals don't have much time left, but they deserve to know a better way of life for what time there is. Simon, line one. Pick up line one. Please feel free to keep looking. I'll just be a moment. Thirty-two-year-old thoroughbred mare. Blind and partially deaf. Rescued from slaughter. <sighs> How am I supposed to pick just one? Now, you know Drew's not happy about this. Max said we could. He thought it would be a very worthy cause. As long as you were willing to help me. <laughs> like I had a choice. Please, please, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, most of these horses ready for adoption, then? Approximately half. Many still require some form of rehabilitation before they can be adopted out to a new home. Which is where the foster program comes in. Exactly. Max has told me a lot about you. If we had more volunteers with your skill, it'd really help. Are you having much success with the program? With some of the younger animals, dogs especially, we get good results. What about the horses? Last month we had two successfully rehabilitated. <laughs> Not much hope for him, I'm afraid. Too old to be done predictable. It was Max's idea. So we're going along with it. When Lisa heard about it, she was such a soft. We all seem to have the patience, I guess. We have a family. What about this one? Storm. That gelding's been so badly abused that he hasn't responded to rehabilitation. It's a real shame. He used to be a prize ranch horse before he was sold to his last owner, who's now up on cruelty charges. Then what's going to happen to him? Well, I'm afraid we've done all that we can do. He's scheduled to be put down next week when the vet arrives. <laughs> Pick this one. Lisa, I don't think that's quite what Max had in mind. Please, Red, we've got to do something. We can't just let him die. <laughs> I wonder what's taking Red and Lisa so long. They should have been back hours ago. I know. I can't wait to meet Pinehall's first foster horse. Well, personally, I don't understand why someone would pick a broken down old nag when Pine Hollow has an entire stable full of perfectly good functional horses. It's called compassion, Veronica. Something you were obviously born without. I hear you can't even ride some of them. There's more to owning a horse than just riding, Christy. But of course, Drew. I just meant that. It was very generous of Lisa to give up her time for such an important cause. They're, They're back. back! Aren't you guys just a little bit curious? All right, Red! 
Yep. Two more. Three. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep, more. Whoa! is like bonkers. Lisa, what about Red? Red's supposed to be the adult. Yeah, well, that horse is crazy. Oh. Some people have absolutely zero sense. <gasps> oh. <sighs> I really oh. thought Drew was going to upgrade this place. Yeah, me too. <sighs> These products are so inferior. <sighs> Come on, let's go and get a juice. <gasps> Is there something you want to tell me about your saddle rack? <laughs> Actually, Drew, I was just saying to Christy that a stable of Pine Hollow Standard really should invest in some higher quality products. You know, if you like, I could suggest some replacements. Replacements wouldn't be necessary if everyone around here showed a little bit more responsibility. Do you, do you even have an idea of how much one of those things cost? <laughs> uh, is this a trick question? Contrary to what you might have been told, Veronica, money is not something that grows on trees. Now, I suggest you get out there and try to fix the damage that you've done. Now! Drew was really mad. It must not be easy riding a stable this size. I mean, Max makes it look so easy. Maybe there's something we can do to help. That's just what I was thinking. 
Okay, so what do we think of Storm? Isn't he beautiful? I can't wait to get him started. But Red says that we need to let him settle down a little bit first. A little bit? I can already picture it. By the time we're done, there'll be a lineup a mile long of people wanting to adopt him. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself, Lisa? All I need is to gain his trust, and he'll be ready to adopt in no time. Are you sure you're up for it, Lisa? I mean, Storm's been through a lot. What, because I don't have your experience with horses? Hey, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying because the people at the shelter couldn't rehabilitate him that... Then maybe they didn't try hard enough. Lisa, we just don't want to see you get hurt. You know, maybe the shelter has another horse that's a, a little, well, friendlier. What Stevie means is maybe they have a horse more like Prancer. I don't want another horse. I want this one. And I'm going to show you how wonderful this horse can be. Should we offer to help? I don't think anybody can have that poor horse. So we're, we'll be here for her if she needs us. Right. All that fuss over a stupid old saddle rack. If you ask me, I did Drew a favour. A new rack would look so much better. <laughs> I think Drew would be grateful. I really don't understand what Lisa sees in that thing. In fact, he's probably more afraid of you than you are of him. Lisa, are you completely blind? That horse is vicious. And first chance it gets, it's going to hurt you. He won't hurt me. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. I still can't believe you were going to You won't hurt me. My dad always says an untidy room is an untidy mind. If he saw my room, then he'd think I was totally nuts. We should clean it up. If we could get this organized, then Drew could see where the problems are and work through them. Where do we start? You're the expert on messes. Where would you start? I'd get a big bin and throw everything into it. OK, I'll start on the couch. You just put those papers into piles. Aye, aye, sir. We should put all these magazines into the lounge. Don't you think, Stevie? Stevie? Uh-oh. What is it? It's the bank. Max took out some big loans, and now they want to be paid back. Well, Pine Hollow's broke. That horse is a maniac. Can't believe Drew allowed it to happen. Imagine coming to the riding school with your daughter to see about lessons and seeing that animal there. I don't know what Red was thinking. He's got a soft heart. And Lisa probably pleaded with him. If anyone could do anything with that horse, it's Red. Nobody would be able to help that thing. But you're right. He probably is doing it for Lisa. He likes her. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he was a bit keen on her. Oh. Well, let's face it, Christy. She's more in his league. Red knows his place, and it's not with you. You're a Kavanaugh. He's an O'Malley, please. Veronica, my feelings for Red are real. Come on, Christy. You fell over yourself with that vet. And what about James and Murray? Just hormones, Christy. Get over it. Gotta go. Mum's waiting. You know, Red's a great guy. Well, he's nice. Ordinary, but nice. Matters of the heart are very complicated, Veronica. You can't just say this goes with that and ignore your feelings. Scooter, I don't expect you to be able to understand this. 
Black Red, you have no background, no social standing, nothing to protect. You can do whatever you like. Fall in love with whom you choose. But families like the D'Angelo's and the Kavanaugh's, we have a responsibility. To who? To our families, our ancestors, and our children to come. I think I'd prefer my children to know that their parents married for love. <laughs> I'd like to be able to think so romantically, Scooter. But life in the upper echelon of society is much more realistic. You need to loosen up a bit, is my guess. Let the wind and life take you with it for a while. You might like it. Newsflash! Newsflash! Yeah? We made some serious money. Pine Hollow is broke. What? It's a secret. Lisa told me. They need money urgently. How much money did we earn? 30, 40, 45. A grand total of $17.45. It's a start, right? Yes. OK, next step. How do we give it to Drew without letting on that we know about the issue? I know, we'll offer Drew a loan. Mm. A loan? Why would I need a loan, Melanie? Uh, because loans are made up of money. And money is one of those things that loans are made up of. OK. Sit. What's going on? Um, well, Drew, we know... You were told by Lisa that Pine Hollow is broke. I see. Drew, we have $17.45 and we want you to have it. <laughs> Girls. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the gesture, but it's not as bad as it looks. Really. Now, I'm sure you've got better things to do around here than worry about me. In fact, I think there might even be some ponies on this property that need to be ridden. I did promise Eddie I'd take him out for a hack today. And I'm likewise. Are you sure? I'm sure. Everything will be okay. Go on. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> there must be something else we can do to help Drew. Yeah, but you heard him. He won't let us give him money. But what if he were to find it? I'll be right back. Whoa, boy. Calm down. Easy, boy. I'm not gonna hurt you. Come on, boy. It's all right. Whoa, whoa, boy. Easy, boy. Lisa, if this is going to work, it'll take time and patience. That's enough for today. 
We'll try again tomorrow. Don't worry, Lisa. We're gonna give it our best shot. and 45 cents. <laughs> what a funny horse. I think she's trying to make friends. She'd be such a fun horse to ride. Hey, girls, be careful. Angel is trouble. She's been sent to me for training. She's been running away with riders lately. But she's just playing a game. She's so cute. A runaway horse is not cute. But she's so nice. And she likes people. Appearances can be deceptive. Angel is not to be ridden by anyone but me. Maybe we read it wrong. But it was there in black and white. But I haven't noticed any signs that Pine Hollow's going broke. Have you, Lisa? Sorry, what were you? Haven't you heard anything we've been saying? I was just wondering how Storm's getting on. Lisa, Pine Hollow's giving refuge to Storm at the moment. If anything happens to Pine Hollow, Storm will have nowhere to go. Which means he'd be put down. Don't, Stevie. Look, Lisa, you go check on Storm. Let's meet at JB's later. Got it bad. I think that Angel's getting bored of being cooped up in here. We should take her out for a hack. But how are we going to get her out of here without any questions being asked? Very carefully. I'll go get my saddle. Gotcha. Have you seen Scooter? Oh, he's got to be around here somewhere. stall clean yet? Search me. Well, did you clean it? <coughs> did you want me to clean it? I shouldn't have to ask. I'll do it if you want me to. It should be done automatically. Automatically? No, I, I don't think I've got a switch for that. I'm just, you know, Frill's manual model. Everything is just a joke to you, isn't it, Scooter? I've done my share of crying. But it's laughing I prefer. <laughs> crying? What have you got to cry about? Are you trying to make friends with me, Veronica? I'd have to be pretty desperate to do that. Not desperate. Lonely, maybe. I'd say you're the lonely one, Scooter. And why do you think that? Because you're always so eager to talk to me. That's because I like you. Stop it! I can't do that. You see, liking you is automatic. I've got no off switch for it. <laughs> like I said, everything is just a joke to you. Who's joking? Red got the idea that Angel was dangerous. <laughs> She's such a gentle horse. Red was probably just saving her for himself. But you can't fool us. Or stop us. Oh, no, you don't. This was my idea. I get to ride first. But I'm the more experienced rider. I should test her out first. No way. All right. How about we ride her together? I was just going to suggest that.
Be thirsty. Okay. It's okay, Storm. There's no hurry. I'll see you later. would never end. Oh, I can't believe we made it without falling off. Way to hold on. Well, that's because we didn't lose our heads. <sighs> we were screaming for our lives! <laughs> ah! Angel! Come back! We'll never catch her. Let's head back. Maybe we should try and make our way home. Which way is home? Beats me. wearing Melanie's saddle. She must have fallen off. <laughs> yeah, well, doesn't surprise me. Make sure Angel's put safely in the paddock. You're asking me? I'm also asking you to lend me your horse. Get off Garnet now, please. What? Please. Oh. Just so I'm clear now, you're asking me to resurrect your singing career. Like you ever got it going in the first place. Sorry, late. Milkshake, please, Scooter. Start on this. We're talking business with Scooter. Our business, singing. 
I thought we were going to discuss Pine Hollow being broke. <clears throat> Ladies, now you know that I believe in your talent. We need to make money. Okay, all those famous singers out there now had to start somewhere. You don't begin with a platinum album and $40 million. Then what are we looking at? Like our last gig here? We got nothing. Uh, you got exposure. And exposure is very important in the beginning. Uh, look, I've got to go. I'll put my mind to it, and might I say, I'm delighted you've still got faith in me. I won't let you down. So is that our plan? Well, it's something. Stevie and I went through everything we have, and even if my dad let me dip into my trust account, we still only have a couple hundred dollars and some cents. Some cents is mine. I have a plan. When Storm is back to normal, anyone can see what a fine horse he is. We could sell him for maybe a couple of thousand dollars. Storm is a foster horse, so even if... What do you mean, even if? Nothing. I'll get your shake. I think we're going the wrong way. Well, I remember that fence. All the fences look the same around here. Well, that's because you're not looking closely enough. Melanie! Melanie! Someone's coming! Storm? I brought you something. Pretty good carrots. Very tasty. Very juicy. <laughs> Yummy carrot, you love carrots. Extra ice cream costs extra. Well, of course it does. Ice cream doesn't grow on trees, you know. Can't you put just a little bit more in and not charge us extra? Because a little bit isn't really extra. Extra is extra. Look, <clears throat> I can make it easy for you. If you haven't got the money now, I'll let you run a tap. Give us credit, you mean? You're regulars. I can trust you. I don't want to go into debt. Debt is bad. It's just a couple of milkshakes. Well, that's the way it starts. But before you know it, we'd be up for double malteds. And Sundays with the lot, including fudge melt. 
we wouldn't be able to help ourselves. Just two plain milkshakes, thanks, Scooter. <sighs> okay. I'm sorry you've come back to such bad news, Aunt Liz. Max wants to drop everything and come back home. I spoke to him. There's no point. And I had a talk with Bill Roth at the bank. There's nothing Max can do to help the situation by being here. We need money, and quickly. I told him we might have to sell off the land around Pine Hollow. Look, Drew, what's important is that Pine Hollow Stables continues to operate as a riding school. So we have to take whatever steps necessary to ensure that that happens. Including selling off the trails? Once you face the worst, I looked it fair and square in the eye. Things seem to get better. It's good to have you back, Aunt Liz. Oh. We'll get through this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get through this. Where did you get it again? On the street, I told you. I've never seen a scratch of wink eye with three lemons. Isn't it usually three cherries? Who cares? Let's see what we've won. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two milkshakes coming up. With double flavouring. No, get triple. Triple flavouring and five extra scoops of ice cream. Make it eight. Eight? Well, why not go the other way? Just have ice cream with a bit of milk tipped over the top. Hey, we're paying customers. <clears throat> Talking about paying, can you afford this? We'll run a tab for now, but we'll have the money soon. A lot of money. What's the uh, secret of your success? We're into lemons. Oh, is there money in lemons? Scooter, we're dying of thirst here. Hurry it up. We want it to be so thick you can't drink it with a straw. Oh, yeah. something a bit different. You work with him. I'll be right here. You're okay. Now, very slowly, stand up and walk backward towards me.
Now try and get him to change his gait. Remember, it's all about tone. As you ask for the transition, step towards his hind end to push him forward. And canter! Yes! Good boy! You're doing it! Perfect, Lisa. Now I'm going to introduce the whip. I'm not going to hurt him, and he needs to know that. I frightened him. He made a mistake. No, Lisa. A mistake would have been picking up the wrong cantilede, not trying to mash me into a fence post. That horse is clearly unpredictable and dangerous. I, of all people, should have known better. I don't know what I was thinking when I agreed to do this. You were thinking we could help him. Well, I was wrong. There are some horses you just can't help, no matter how much you'd like to. But you don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm sorry, Lisa, but Storm just does not belong at Pine Hollow. But if you take him back to the shelter, they'll put him down. I wish it could be some other way. But Storm has left us no choice. Red, please don't do this. I'll be returning Storm first thing in the morning. Until then, for your own safety, you are not to go near that horse. Is that understood? I have to go tell Drew. Ashley, guinea pigs. Black hamsters, only cuter. Can I have a look? Yeah. Oh. That's quite a responsibility you've taken on. Huh? They can be quite a handful. They're really small. How much work can they be? Hello, girls. I'm here to see Drew. Drew's not here right now. He was down by the dam. Oh, that's okay. I'll wait in his office. I've got an appointment. I know that guy. He's from the bank. you last night, Storm. We escaped from all this. We rode where, where we could be free. I'm scared that if you go back to the shelter, they'll put you down. And that would be so... so unfair. You're a good horse. 
with a good heart. I know that. It's obvious to me. How can they destroy such a good horse? It's because of what those cruel people have done to you. You go a little wild now and then with enough love. All those bad memories will fade away. We get along fine because we trust each other, don't we, Storm? What in the world do you think you're doing? But Red, he's so calm and gentle. I thought I told you to stay away from him. But Red... I want you out of there, now. <laughs> do you have any idea what could have just happened? But it didn't! Lisa! Red, you're the one who told me that some horses need more time than others. And for some horses, it doesn't matter how much time you give them. You can't undo the damage that's been done. I worked at a property when I was 14. There was this one gelding that my boss picked up from an auction. He was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. He was also the meanest. I offered a summer's pay in exchange for that horse, convinced I could win him over. My boss thought I was crazy, but he agreed. What happened? I worked with that gelding all summer. I figured sooner or later he'd realise I wasn't going to hurt him. But every time I thought I was getting somewhere, he'd prove me wrong. Until finally, he put me in the hospital. I just don't want that to happen to you. But Storm isn't that horse. Lisa, sometimes when a horse's trust of humans has been broken, it can't ever be repaired. When that happens, the horse is a danger to himself and to everyone around him. But Red, it isn't Storm's fault. We can't just let him be destroyed. I've made my decision and it's final. I'll be taking him back to the shelter as soon as I'm done with the morning feed. Bill, please take a seat. Can I offer you a drink or anything? Uh, perhaps a coffee? Yeah. The moment Max took over the running of Pine Hollow, his mother was so proud. I remember that moment as if it was yesterday. Really? I should. I took that picture. Over the years, I wish I'd done the same. I was more at home on a horse's back than I ever was in any business suit. But the bank... That was in my family for generations. But that choice between the head and the heart is never an easy one. Bill, we can work this out. Now I've spoken to Max. If you could just postpone everything till he gets back. Max has already missed several substantial deadlines. But this this course he's doing, Bill, it could put Pine Hollow on the map. We'll double the business easily. I have never seen anyone put as much of themselves into their business as Max has. And if there were anyone I would want to see succeed with their dreams, it would be Max. But I have a business to run as well. I'm sorry but I have already given you more time than I can afford. You have to come up with the overdue loan payments by the end of the day tomorrow.
To come up with that kind of money in 36 hours, that's, that's impossible. You know, Drew, and I've talked to Max about this before. The acreage surrounding Pine Hollow is very valuable. The sale of it would be more than enough to get you back on your feet. That land has been part of the Regnery family for generations. And there are several local developers who would offer you a very good price for it. Now you think about it, and you let me know what you decide. Sorry, Drew. I'm sorry, Max. Do you think it'll work? It has to. I've got the article in my locker. It's about this rich guy who invests in local community projects. Turns out the press loves that type of thing. Well, there were so many reporters wanting to interview him that he had to hire a secretary just to schedule all the interviews. Hey, wasn't he on TV? Yeah, I heard his daughter even got a movie deal out of it. If only we could get him to invest in buying a hollow. Why don't you just ask me straight out? Huh? We're having a private conversation, if you don't mind. I know what you're trying to do. Convince me to get my father to put money into Pine Hollow. That's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, no, it's really dumb. What's in it for me? Well, we have had a lot of fun here. Uh, speak for yourself. The saddle club spoiled my fun most of the time. Nice try. But I wasn't born yesterday. Hey! I've got an even better idea. Which is? A high-paying gig will help matters. Got us a gig? A high-paying gig? Well, don't look so surprised. I am your manager, aren't I? Yeah, but you never actually managed to do anything for us so far. Harsh, Carol. Harsh. Where is the gig? At the Sweetheart Mall. How much are we getting paid? Ooh. $1,000. $1,000? Now, Scooter, take a deep breath and pinch yourself. What was our appearance fee again? $1,000. We want it in advance. What? You've let us down once before, Scooter. Up front or no deal? Huh. Right. $1,000. It was. She must be crazy. $1,000! <laughs> <laughs> have at least one rehearsal. And we're gonna have to change at your house, Lisa, because my dad will send us off in granny clothes. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong, I said? It's what we wanted. We thought you'd be happy about this. <laughs> I know, I know. And I really want to, but I keep thinking about Storm. We do too. But the singing is the three of us together, a saddle club thing. Storm is a saddle club thing too, isn't he? Hey. The money will help save Pine Hollow. And that's got to be a saddle club thing. <laughs> hey! <laughs>
another way besides selling the land. Why didn't Drew tell me sooner? I could have helped. Look, I appreciate the thought, but it wouldn't change anything. Isn't there anything I can do? <laughs> Not unless you've won the lottery lately. That was last month. Lisa came to see me in a real state. Storm's a hopeless case, is he? I mean over my head. I thought I could do this, but I can't. Poor Lisa. She believes in him. She also believes in you. Look, Red, you might be right about Storm. Some situations are just out of our hands, but if there's even the slightest chance to change that, don't you owe it to Storm and to yourself to try? I thought you said there was two daddy guinea pigs. Well, that's what I was told. Well, that daddy is really a mummy. He'll make a fortune. You're really good with him. Whoever heard him did a good job of it. My guess is he has every reason to fear us. He's worse with men. The only way to truly conquer that fear would be to prove to him once and for all that we're not going to harm him, even when he's vulnerable. Does that mean you'll try? That means we'll try. <laughs> Thank you. I was thinking about Willow Ridge. Oh, well, Daddy said he could get me into Ballantree. They have over a hundred acres of groomed trails. But isn't there a 12-month waiting list for that place? Ah, uh, not for everyone. <laughs> Drew hasn't even sold the land yet and you've already got another stables picked out? How can you be so heartless? I'm being practical. There's a difference. Do you have any idea how boring it will be to have no trails to ride on? Mrs. Wright won't let that happen. Oh, get a clue, Stevie. There's nothing she can do to stop it. Yeah. We'll see about that. Okay, that's it. There's got to be another way to get Pine Hollow out of debt, besides selling the land. Or singing. If there were, don't you think Drew would have thought of it by now? Oh, well, he could raise the board. Or charge more for lessons. Or... Stevie, those are all great ideas, but they're long-term. Panhala needs money now. I still say there's got to be a way. As most of you may be aware, Pine Hollow has recently encountered some financial difficulties. As a last resort, we've decided to go ahead with the sale of the land surrounding the stables. Unfortunately, we won't be able to use any more of the riding trails. I'm sorry. Hopefully, we'll find other places to ride, huh? Such a shock. I could see it coming a mile off. How? Well, the Regnaries are nice people, but business people, <laughs> I don't think so. I'd hate to see Pine Hollow close down. Well, that's what happens when a place is badly run. Well, somebody like you would be good at running Pine Hollow. Well, I don't think I'd be a very popular choice. Well, that's just because people are jealous of you. Well, why do you say that? Well, people are jealous. Because they want to be like you. Even I wouldn't mind. You're a strange one, Scooter. Would you like to be me? Oh, I don't like it much, but what can you do? There's no return or exchange on yourself once you're born. So, you think I could run the stables? Consider the advantages. All the things, all the people you don't like. Just change them. Are you sure you want to go through with this? 
It won't hurt him, right? There's no physical danger, but once we start, there's no turning back. If we do, it'll be worse than if we hadn't done anything at all. Lisa, you have to understand that if this doesn't work, we'll have destroyed any chance of gaining Storm's trust. We have to try. <laughs> Get up! Here we go. Come on, boy. I promise you, I'm not hurting him. He's afraid of what we might do, not of what we're doing. Now I need you to grab that other lariat and bring it over here. We need to teach Storm that it wasn't the rope or the whip that hurt him. It was the person using it. He's afraid of me. You need to believe in this too, Lisa. We can't do it without you. Good. Now very gently, brush the lariat along his side. Maybe there's hope for this horse yet. Where are they? They're gone. I can see that. Ruined. Put it in here. Scooter. Did they agree to the advance? Oh, sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Way to drive a bargain scooter. You're a top manager. So, when do we get it? When do you want it? Now. Okay. <laughs> Something wrong, Scooter? Well, uh, being a manager, it's not a day at the beach, you know. The truck's not gonna unload itself, Scooter. So, where's our money? You do have the advance. You said you had it. No, I haven't got it as such. So, who has got it? I have. You have. Why has Red got it? It's complicated. Actually, it's quite simple. You see, an advance means we get our money up front. So where's our money? You haven't told them, Scooter. Haven't told us what? What's going on? Scooter? Oh, okay now. You know how I told you the event in Sweetwater Mall was to launch a new line of dog food? Yes. Go on. Oh, no. We're getting paid in dog food? It's not just any dog food. It's got nine essential vitamins and minerals in it. So, should I go and unload the other 200 boxes then? Yeah, why not? <sighs> I knew it was just a matter of time and patience. You're yourself now, aren't you? You weren't yourself before. I knew we could do it. Wait. It was Red, really, wasn't it? It was Red and me together. Ah, Red let you think that. You could never handle that horse by yourself, Lacey. Face it. I'm sure I could now. Oh, I'd like to see you try. Come on, Storm. Let's get some fresh air and sunshine. I'll show Veronica. You wouldn't hurt me, would you, boy? There we are. That should keep the bank off your back for a while. I don't know what to say. Well, you could start by assuring me what a good investment I've made. That it is. Daddy. Ah, yes, but as your new partner, I have just one small request to make. And that would be? I should like my daughter to take an active role in the day-to-day -day running of the riding school. As a way to further her business skills. Shall we say, executive, student, president? <gasps> Must be the excitement. Are you all right? What did he do? Did Storm turn on you? Uh, I don't know who read. I just went for a gentle walk. And I tripped and fell. Storm reared up at me. He was protecting you. It's all right, Storm. You're a good horse. Say hello to Red. <laughs> He's turned over a new leaf, Red. I think I'll get a double crown this time with extra sprinkles. Yeah, me too. You girls are becoming my best customers. And we might be back tonight with our whole family. Our treat. You've already run up a tab of $22. Did you win the lottery? We did. Well, not the lottery, but we did win $200 on a lemon scratchy. A lemon scratchy? Can I see it? I found it. <laughs> Girls, let me tell you the good news. You now only owe me 
Twenty dollars. You see, you've missed a very important point here. It's the decimal point. Two point zero zero. Two dollars. We don't have any money. What are we going to do? Well, we could use some help in the kitchen. For a week. A week? It was just a bit of ice cream. And a malt. Ah, mm. Can I have everyone's attention, please? There's been a change of plans. Pine Hollow's trails are back in business. Oh. I have one other announcement. I'd like to introduce to you Pine Hollow's new executive student president, Veronica D'Angelo. Oh, woohoo! Thank you, everyone. As your new executive student president, I will be making a few changes to Pine Hollow for the better. The first thing I would like to attack is the big rat problem. I'm sure you've all noticed the nasty little creatures running around the There's place. There's only one big rat around here. Unacceptable. I'm sure we all agree. Drew, I am really glad that everything worked out for you. Sometimes we find what we need when we least expect it. What a beautiful creature. Hey, Red, Lisa, I believe you know Mr. Roth from the bank? Hi there. He's a magnificent animal. Do you mind if I... Uh... Just be careful. A storm isn't used to strangers. You are a beautiful boy, hey? Hey? Come here. Yes, what a lovely animal, hmm? He's up for adoption from the shelter. Is he now? You know, I've got a farm not ten minutes from here and it's been vacant for far too long. It needs a fair bit of work and I could do with a good horse to give me a hand. Do you think that Storm would like that? I think he would love it. <laughs> good fella. You got a new home, Storm. Ha, 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 ha.